Thousands of people are now on the hook for damages in the wake of devastating floods last summer. Several neighborhoods were hit with widespread flooding after two days of heavy rain moved through the area in late June of 2021. Those flood victims filing claims with the Great Lakes Water Authority blaming the failure of the Connor Creek pump station in Detroit for the damage. But today, the authority denied those claims, all 24,000 of them. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid takes us on a hunt for answers. There is still hope. That's attorney Paul Doherty's message for all the impacted homeowners. When faced with over $100 million in damages, they were going to accept any responsibility. I mean, if you believe that, I got a bridge I want to sell you. Paul is representing more than 600 flooding victims as part of a class action lawsuit filed against the Great Lakes Water Authority and Detroit Water and Sewerage Department. They needed to have 16 pumps running from very early in the day on the 25th when this rain was predicted. Instead, they had repeated electrical failures at Frood, the one power or one pumping station, and multiple priming issues at Connor Creek. According to Paul, during the June event, only three out of the 16 pumps were functioning. And being a victim of the floods himself, he understands people's frustration. What happens next is we now go to the courtroom, all right, where we have subpoena power, deposition power, where we make them lay out the evidence and we counter it with our experts. In an official statement to 7 Action News, GLWA's CEO, Suzanne Coffey, writes, We understand the difficult situation homeowners and businesses face when flooding occurs. The unprecedented rain events of last summer are a real-life example of the devastating impacts that climate change can have on our communities. We will likely continue to see more intense storms, and while it's not possible to eliminate the chance of flooding, we are taking actions that can help mitigate the extent of the flooding. They have already asked the judge to dismiss the case, claiming too much water caused by historic rain. And I'm confident that the judge will say no. It's for a jury to tell us whether it was too much water, act of God, versus your pump failures. Meanwhile, in an official statement to 7 Action News, DWSD writes, while the Great Lakes Water Authority has made their determination on claims related to the June 25th and 26th and July 16, 2021 rain events, the sewer backup claims submitted to the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department remain under review. Now, Paul says that once the motion to dismiss the lawsuit is denied by the judge, that's when the main litigation process will begin and it'll take upwards of a year to get ready for the trial. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.